My name is Anton Kalonin, and I'm going to present our work on causal analysis of generic time series data applied for market prediction. The goal of our work if, is to provide the causal analytics framework for prediction oracle capable to provide predictions for price, volume, and risk for the purpose of automated active portfolio management. So we are collecting different sorts of data from market like exchanges, centralized, ex centralized exchanges and uh, the, the decentralized exchanges like smart contracts and media, like different uh, social media feeds from Twitter and Reddit. This data is being pre-processed and turned into various metrics like metrics derived from the market data, like uh, different derivatives from price, like difference in local returns and uh, different sorts of um, imbalances computed from the uh, sell and buy volumes and trade counts, ask and bid uh, prices and volumes. And also we are computing metrics from derived from social media like sentiment, positive, negative, contradictiveness and, and uh, overall sentiment and cognitive distortions uh, known in uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. And these predictions and these metrics are turned into predictions and predictions uh, predictions are turned into the parameters used to identify the strategy, strategies for trading bots uh, which are performing trading or market making activity turning these parameters into the particular actions on the market and then the data is returning to the market affecting the markets and uh, we are continuing to run this circle the goal of our Causal, analytical, uh, causal analytics and predictive framework is become able to identify the patterns on the market. So in order to identify the patterns, we need to somehow symbolize the market states, like figuring out the particular situations on the market, like prices going up or prices going down and uh, price is crashing and we need somehow identify what is up and what is down and what is the crash so to speak how much up is up and how much down is down and one of the approaches for symbolization of the market states is uh, uh, figuring out specific um, parameters that can be bound to specific intervals so uh, values on one or another interval can correspond to symbols and then we assemble, can further assemble the symbols into the associations of the symbols or um, uh, states that correspond to, might correspond to particular market conditions like flat market or correction market or market going up so we can further um, can identify the sequences of market states uh, usable for predicting the particular scenarios uh, of uh, market activity. Another source of data other than market data is the media data. So we know that the emotions and manipulations are affecting the market. So here is the example of the Walmart fake news in respect to Litecoin. And on the right, you can see the peak of the sentiment, uh, actually, sorry, uh, peak of the price caused by this false sentiment. And underneath you see the volume of the trades first on buy and next on sell based on this manipulative content and uh, all of these metrics like uh, ma market metrics and uh, uh, media metrics are assembled into the uh, so-called cube of data so we are building three-dimensional cube where one direct dimension of the cube corresponds to markets like trading pair, pairs on certain exchanges and smart contracts and our experimental setup involves 10 to 100 of different markets or trading pairs and also in this dimension you can, we can consider different news channels like uh, different uh, feeds on Twitter or different subreddits on Reddit and we are now analyzing about 100 of such channels. Uh, on the other dimension we can see different metrics so some of the metrics are market metrics derived from the market data like price derivatives, indicators, uh, different imbalances based on the trade volumes and the order book volumes and price structure and another metrics are sentiment or polarity uh, or cognitive distortions extracted from the social media posts.
and we have about 100 metrics computed from the market data and about 20 different metrics derived uh, from the social media so you can see that uh, in uh, overall we have about uh, uh, thousands of different metrics to analyze and thousands of these metrics are distributed across the timeline and uh, then we can use the correlational analysis to uh, align to compute the, the, the mutual correlation between all of these different metrics with different time shifts assuming that uh, the correlation of two different functions with shift in time may point to the causal connection between the metric uh, which is uh, changing one step back in time uh, before the other metric is changing one step forward in time for example on this synthetic example we can see that uh, the two uh, synthetic indicators like pumping and dumping indicator on the top are correlated with the uh, price difference so we take the see the price on the second plot and the price difference on the third plot and we correlate each of these in, uh, synthetic pumping and dumping indicators with the price difference on the third plot and underneath you see the heat map where uh, the shifted price the price uh, plot uh, price difference plot shifted one point back uh, and correlated with the respective pumping or dumping indicator are uh, 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 <coughs> reflecting in highly positive correlation and minus one point zero point seventy seven and uh, highly negative correlation with uh, dumping indicator at minus zero point seventy seven so this high correlation uh, cells on the heat map at minus one sh uh, shift point are pointing to potential causal connections between respective uh, uh, source indicators like pumping and dumping, dumping and the target indicator which is the price difference so correlation is not uh, causation but temporal correlation is uh, more like uh, uh, causation or can be thought as a causation and here you see non-synthetic a kind of analysis on the same of the same kind on the left you see one particular cognitive distortion across different channels channels are on the vertical axis and you see the different time shifts on the bottom and uh, at minus one shift here you can see some high and po and uh, uh, some high positive and negative correlations pointing out that um, news communications on these particular channels might be affecting the price on the right you can see another shift of this uh, three-dimensional data group so we have the fix, uh, shift fixed so here is just single shift minus one and we consider multiple metrics and multiple channels so the metrics are on the uh, under bottom channels are uh, on, on vertical axis and you can see what uh, which of these uh, metrics on which of these channels are highly or uh, highly correlated positively or negatively with the price difference another kind of example can be applied to the uh, market data so the first slide the, the slide before was about the social media data and here we have the correlation of the market data on the left you see the single market the btc usdt in given case and the multiple metrics on the vertical axis and uh, shifts on the bottom um, ex horizontal axis and you can see that most of the metrics are correlated with the price at point zero so price is highly correlated with almost everything and some of the metrics are highly correlated positively or, or negatively with price at, at plus one point so price is affect is causing changes in many things but unfortunately you don't see any significant correlations at minus one point so uh, from market data perspective here we can see that uh, price is barely uh, correlated with something uh, before the actual price change which uh, <coughs> makes the price prediction based on the market data more uh, uh, difficult than it might be uh, thought uh, based on the social media data like we have seen just on the previous slide and also on the right you can see that we can analyze this sort of correlations uh, with shift with, dif with different shifts uh, visualize it with bars 
and uh, further we can do the analysis uh, in attempt to build what we call synthetic uh, additive indicator so we are trying to be uh, find the different metrics on market data and social media data which are having uh, greatest correlation with the price if assembled together so we are finding the combinations of the metrics uh, that uh, being added one to other provide higher correlation at minus one point uh, uh, at minus one uh, day or hour or minute shift against the target metric with a uh, which is price and uh, here you can see the results of uh, our experiments on the left you can see our attempt attempts to build synthetic market indicators based only on social media data so on the left you see that we try to build synthetic indicator with different time shifts uh, from minus 10 to plus 10 and each bar corresponds to the highest correlation that we can achieve between the price and the synthetic indicator uh, assembled from multiple uh, news feeds uh, met multiple metrics from multiple social media channels in with different uh, sets of metrics for example at the bottom you, you see that uh, we, uh, we use uh, sentiment data only uh, next from the bottom bottom here is uh, corresponding to using only cognitive behavioral schemata uh, the cognitive distortions only and then we can have sentiment and cognitive distortions and sentiment and cognitive distortions and uh, counts of news per day and you can see that in most of in all of these cases the highest correlation um, uh, can be achieved for this synthetic indicator at minus one so that means that there is something uh, highly correlated with the price across multiple metrics that are assembled together specifically day before the price changes all analysis on the social media data have been done uh, on the uh, daily uh, time series uh, what is interesting is that the sentiment only provides uh, is sufficiently low correlation it's just somewhere in between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 but if you consider cognitive be uh, behavioral uh, data or cognitive distortions metric computed from social media then you can see high correlation almost at 0 0.8 and if you add uh, sentiment to cognitive distortions you get uh, up to 0 0.8 and adding uh, counts of the news uh, to that uh, these metrics doesn't improve the quality as well and by the way if you start adding market data it also doesn't improve quality because on the right you can see the market analysis of the market data so we are using the same kind of uh, uh, pro the same kind of process building what we call synthetic additive market indicator uh, building assembling uh, the uh, metrics that have the highest correlations with the price into synthetic indicator as long as adding them uh, together increases the overall correlation with the uh, price difference at the specified um, time uh, shift so here we can see that at daily sampling rate we have positive correlation at uh, minus one it is not that high it is just 0 0.2 and something and then we have same amount of correlation at zero so uh, there is some problems some uh, i would say hope uh, for um, being able to build some predictive uh, algorithms based on this correlation but uh, it is uh, uh, not that uh, I would say impressive as in case of the social media data if you uh, try to go down on time scale so if, if you try to use more uh, fine-grained temporal time series data with uh, market parameters on hourly basis you can see the pictures even worse so on minus one shift the correlate synthetic indicator can be built with pretty low positive correlation while at the point of zero and point of uh, one 
sh shift one, uh, one hour shift you get much higher correlations so you can see that on the hourly scale uh, the price is rather driving the uh, other metrics uh, rather than some other metrics are driving the price and uh, if you move to the minutely data then on minutely uh, time series data you can see that the correlation uh, built at 0 0.8 uh, my, the correlation Pearson correlation at the level of zero, minus 0 0.8 is uh, taking place at uh, plus one time shift so again so there is some strong correlation with some set of param market market parameters uh, after the price change so the price is causing these changes and also some uh, of the parameters are correlated with the price at uh, zero shift and uh, also only uh, the zero shift uh, based correlation is found on the secondary data uh, so so far that kind of analysis suggests that our further work will be focused primarily on primarily on making the price prediction based on the social media data